The world needs forests more than ever. As we tackle issues from population growth to the climate crisis, a healthy and resilient forest ecosystem is key to achieving a truly sustainable society. Now, at the IOFRU World Congress in Stockholm, Sweden, stakeholders from across the forest sector are coming together to work towards just that. Join us right here on IOFRU World Congress TV to discover the latest science and innovations and how it will impact the world in the decades to come. This is IOFRU TV. Six billion people rely directly on forests for food and medicine. And yet we manage forests primarily for timber and wood. And these other products are not really considered in forest management. People still depend on trees for livelihoods in the heart of the city in the Global South, all the way to spiritual and sacred needs because people worship trees and find them sacred. And that's a really important, meaningful need of people in the South. We know that forests are already under major stress from climate change. So it's absolutely essential to promote an integrated approach to management of climate-induced risks to forests. As climate is changing and we need to increase the resilience of the forest, genetic diversity is key for us. So as a silviculturist, our goal is to create a future forest with more tolerance to stress. We are changing the way that we are approaching working with communities and it's becoming less about extracting information and working with communities to co-create solutions. The research community needs to understand and respect the people that their science can serve, whether it's communities or policymakers, so that the results are much more easily translated into, into actions, actionable advice. Sustainable forest management offers so many opportunities. I only see promising prospects for the future for engagement of women in forestry sector. We are about integrating youth across all forest sector, whether policy, whether in the industry. So it's very crucial that we pass this opportunity for young people so that they continue the stewardship in protecting the forest. These gender topics, including now in the forestry sector, I am really happy to, to learn a little bit more about these aspects. And we are here also to inspire other scientists, like to continue maybe in academia or continue in research or even beyond in industry, because there's so much new career pathways for women that I am looking forward to see this in the future. Well, that's it for what's been an incredible week here in Stockholm. Make sure to make it an impactful five years and we'll see you all in Kenya for 2029.